We haven't answered every question about what actually happened on January 6th. Far from it. There's still many mysteries from that day. But one thing we know for certain is that the story they told you about it, a pat tale of good versus evil, an insurrection with no guns that took place at the U.S. Capitol, those were lies, and they were lies told for a very specific purpose. Of course, the people in power wanted more power, and they got it on the basis of those lies. But in the process, many lives were destroyed, and some people are still in jail tonight not having had their constitutionally guaranteed moment in front of a jury of their peers. They haven't even put on trial yet, and they're still rotting. Julie Kelly is the one journalist in this country who's been following us very closely. She wrote a book on it. January 6th, how Democrats used the Capitol protest to launch a war on terror against the political right, which is a perfect summation of what actually happened. Julie Kelly joins us now. Julie, thanks so much for coming on. Um, so it dawned on us as, as these tapes made very clear that the story we've been presented is an, is an absolute fabrication, it's a lie, it's a fraud, um, that people may still be in jail on the basis of these lies. And so we wanted to talk to you for an update on where those cases are tonight. So, yes, there are, well, at least 100 men have been held under pretrial detention orders over the past two years. That means that a judge has denied them bail because the government, DOJ, successfully argued that that individual was a threat to the community. This includes, Tucker, people charged with nonviolent offenses like obstruction and conspiracy. So, of course, they, they don't have access to what could very easily be a exculpatory evidence contained in this video. But aside from the now, I think, around three dozen men who are held under pretrial detention orders, Tucker, believe it or not, there are some men going on 24, 25, 26 months denied bail, languishing in jail, including the D.C. Gulag, as the government continues to delay their trials. This all has the imprimatur, by the way, of every judge on the D.C. District Court. I want to emphasize the real villains here are the federal judges in Washington, D.C., who right. have allowed the government to play ev every single game to keep this evidence out of the hands of defendants, violating their oath of office to protect the rights of defendants and their due process rights. So I really want to emphasize that. Um, but look, Tucker, there's a thousand criminal defendants right now. Half of them have pleaded guilty or been convicted at trial. So, and the government just announced in two months ago, in January, that they were still uploading gl global, they call discovery, which means material related to the entire investigation. What they did was arrest people first, find the evidence later, and cover up what could um, potentially uh, exonerate these defendants. If this were happening in any other country, the U.S. State Department would immediately acknowledge that these were violations of the most basic human rights, these are political prisoners. Mm -hmm and the U.S. government would condemn it, but it's happening here and it's ignored, except by you. And I so appreciate your tireless reporting on this. Julie Kelly, thank you. Thank you, Tucker. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.